Hi everybody and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. In this one we're going to go over the HM50R V2 from Phoenix. Right, so welcome back everyone. As in a little intro today, we're going to go over the HM50R V2 from Phoenix. Uh, this one was kindly sent to me by My Phoenix, uh, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank them for sending me this and, and all the support that they've shown the channel in the last sort of year and a half, two years that we've been collaborating. So thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the nitty gritty of the toy. So first of all, what you can see is the uh, box. Now it's a beautifully presented box with a lot of information on there, which obviously I'll catch up with throughout the video later on. Uh, but you can see uh, the main things, you can see the 700 lumens maximum, the 16 340 battery and 150 metre distance just on the front side there. Uh, you get the little unit itself and a, a Phoenix branded headband and inside the box you've also got uh, a couple of spare o-rings, the instruction manual and the USB charging cable which obviously I'll show you very shortly. So first of all Let's uh, open the box completely. So as we said earlier on, uh, what you get in the box is obviously the packaging itself, so the outer packaging and the inner packaging, the USB Type-C charging cable, the instruction manual and warranty card, obviously the unit itself and the elastic headband. The key things that I like about this uh, little head torch is the size of it first of all. First of all, you can see that it's not even as long as my finger there and weighs it like 78 grams so it's brilliant for lightweight sort of backpacking trips things like that uh useful as a running light camping light and you know all that kind of outdoors activities that people want to get up to uh, but yeah i like the size of it um i like the simplicity of it and i like the fact that you can detach it very very simply if you look on here there's like a little detach arrow and it's just pushing that direction and it's simply pulls away leaving you the headband there and then just the unit here um, on the back of that there is like a, a little pocket clip which is obviously compatible with molly now i have got my cook set just to hand at the side of me to show you so molly like so and then just pull a molly strap up oh. and you can attach it just like so there so you can have it on the outside of your pack as well it doesn't have to be on your head torch and you know you can clip it onto I don't know the shoulder strap of your backpack uh, that sort of thing but yeah that's it one of the little key features that I really do like about it so we're just going to go through what it says on the outside of the box it says the HM50 RV2 is a rechargeable dual purpose headlamp including with a 16340 rechargeable lithium ion battery the headlamp is power packed for a 700 lumens beam to a maximum distance of 115 meters HM50R V2 is an outstanding with its solid construction and lightweight size, plus it's detachable to be used as a mini flashlight. This rechargeable headlamp combines white and red lights, comes with USB Type-C charging cable and the features an IP, IP68 rating, all of which make the Phoenix HM50R V2 perfect for camping, hiking or working in rigid environments. Now, uh, the size of it is 2.52 inch by 1.42 inch by 1.26 inches or 64 by 36 by 32 millimetres. Uh, the weight is 2.75 ounce at 78 grams, that's including the battery and headband. Well, we'll just run through some technical specs. Uh, so, a maximum 700 lumen output, 150 metre beam distance. The Cree XPG3 S4 white LED with a lifespan of 50,000 hours. 
the, the included 16340 rechargeable battery also compatible with the CR123A uh, detachable structure can be used as a flashlight it's got white and red lights USB type C charging port for easy and fast charging lockout function avoids accidental activation and the made of durable A6061T6 aluminium premium type hard anodized free anti abrasive finish and we've already talked about the size and weights uh, an intelligent overheat protection uh, so it accumulate a lot of heat when it's used on turbo mode for an extended period so when the lamp reaches a temperature of 60 degrees celsius or above the lamp will automatically step down to a, a lower lumen setting to reduce the temperature when the temperature drops below 60 it will then allow the user to reselect the turbo mode right i think that's enough gumph let's have a little play okay so it's just a simple one button operation to use this now as you can see it is really quite a small unit and really really lightweight which is one of the brilliant features if you are a lightweight backpacker this is going to be a head torch for you uh, but yeah to operate it's just one button on the top as you can see there press and hold get the torch activated and then just simple one press to cycle through all the modes Press and hold to turn it off. So to activate the red, it's just a double tap. And that gives you the red mode and then red flashing, intermittent red flashing there just by another single press. Back to static. Double tap to turn it back off. Oh, press and hold to turn it back off, should I say. Now there's also a lockout feature and it actually reminds you on the torch as well how to do that. So you press and hold it for three seconds. Once you've activated the lock, you'll see a little uh, bit of a flash of a red light as well, just so that you know you've activated it properly. So we'll press and hold now. Okay, so the red light there indicates that the lockout function is done. So you can see that it is activating the red light but I can't do anything more than that so it's just a short sharp burst to tell you that you've pressed the button but you are still in lockout mode to unlock it again just simple press and hold for 3 seconds again the red light indicates that the is now unlocked and it's returned to the mode that you were last on press and hold back to white light right let's talk about the uh, modes and yes, luminosity so 6 modes uh, first of all, you've got the low mode, which is an output of 30 lumens, medium 130, high 400, and turbo of 700. Uh, the red light outputs are 5 lumens apiece, and the maximum run time of this is the 42 hours, that's in the low mode, and that's just off one full charge. Right, let's do some beam shots. So to activate it into white mode, we're just going to do a half second press. I'm going to cycle to the low mode. So there you go, your low mode there with all the outputs on the screen. One single press to medium to high to turbo. Okay, so to change off to uh, red, turn the unit off and then double tap while the unit's off. And that's your red. That looks pretty phenomenal, doesn't it? Red output and then red flashing. Right, let's take it outside. Okay, so we've come outside now to do some beam shots with this. This is your HM50R uh, little head torch and pocket clip, so really sort of ideal. Uh, lightweight head torch, but really, really powerful still. Uh, maximum output I think is 700 lumens but I'll flash all that up on screen and it'll all be in the description box below so you can sort of read through at your own perusal. Uh, so we've got uh, four modes in white, I think we've got low, medium, high and turbo and then two modes in red. So I'm going to turn the torch on, I think we're in low and just cycle through. Yeah so we start off in low mode. And low mode not showing up too brilliantly on camera but it is showing up. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the camera so you can see it a bit better. Yeah, that's your low mode. One press to medium. Again, significant hotspot in the middle there, you can see 
Great for making shadow puppets. <laughs> but that is quite impressive for such a small light. Smaller than your index finger. Yeah, into high mode. Look at the definition there, high mode. Brilliant. Okay, one more for turbo. This is your 700 lumen max output. That is absolutely brilliant. A lot more lightweight than the HM65R Shadow Master. And great for sort of stealth camping, just sort of close up work and obviously when you're hiking and stuff. Brilliant. Right, we're just going to switch it over. We'll double tap to get into your red mode. So as you can see, it's not seeing very clearly on there, so we'll bring you in a little bit closer to show you this one. So yeah, we brought you in a little bit closer to show you the red. I'm going to kill my filming light. And you got the red output on the wall there. And you're going to have the same just in red flashing. So I won't show you that. But you can take my word for it, that is quite defined and really going to be good at keeping up your night vision. And again, all the size of your index finger. Brilliant. Okay, so now I'm going to take you back inside and finish off this review, but I am really quite impressed with the output of this such a tiny little unit. Let's get you back inside and finish off. Okay, just before we end this video, I just want to remind you that Phoenix do have a, a number of accessories that you can pick up from them as well. Uh, so the baseball hats, the batteries and battery holders, and then this is like a head torch uh, storage bag. And um, the bands as well. All these kind of things are all available from My Phoenix via the link in the description and using the code Oscar Phoenix. So as with all my uh, My Phoenix reviews, there will be a link in the description box below uh, that'll take you straight to My Phoenix's website, and you can get a discount off anything on that website by using the code Oscar Phoenix. It's not just limited to this model; any model or anything that you can see on there. So again, just remind you of some of the products that you can pick up from there. My Phoenix's website. So you've got the HM65R Shadow Master here, you've got the E Light here, the PD36 TAC, CL26R Camping Lantern, the TK11 TAC, the HM50R uh, Head V2, and there's many, many more products available on their website. But this is just a quick reminder. Right, well, this has been the review of the HM50R V2 uh, from Phoenix. Uh, kindly sent to me by my phoenix again there'll be a, um, a link in the description to go and purchase one and using the code oscar phoenix you can get a little bit of discount off there and it does help me out a little bit as well uh, but yeah if you've enjoyed the review if it's helped you make your mind up give it a thumbs up comment let me know what you thought about this one and if you're not already please subscribe to the channel by pressing this and i'll leave you the playlist for the all of my phoenix lights on the screen now